What the hell is this thing? I was hanging out with one of my friends from a different universe, but now I need to go back to my PC to play a game that he was talking about. Now, according to this guy, he said that the game's like really short. It's a short game. That it's very basic, but also very fun. Sounds like a load of rubbish. I know, but we better see what it is anyway. The game goes by the title, You Have 10 Seconds. So I reckon this game will be very, very interesting. Also, who the hell is this guy? You Have 10 Seconds is a fast paced arcade type game with 45 levels in total, 4 lots of 10 levels, a level at the end of all of those 4 lots of 10 levels, and one final level. The game went on to spawn two other sequels, with the third one having a game-breaking glitch that the creator can't fix so I can't complete the game! The game starts with a very basic first round of levels, teaching you the game. It's very easy, but it does teach you how to play. Some people may suck at the game. How do you get pluses? I died. But I'm actually the best player ever. Better than any other player of any game ever. I'm the best video game player ever. That's what I'm known for. The final level introduces the double jump, which actually makes the game about 10 times easier. Once you unlock something, it can be used throughout the rest of the game. The second lot of levels has puzzles that use the double jump, along with portals and conveyor belts. This is a bit more challenging, but it's still pretty simple. The final level introduces the water power up, which makes it possible to jump in water. I would assume that this is actually just a useless power-up, as there isn't any water before you get the power-up for you to test it on. But that's whatever, who cares. The third lot of levels has a lot more spikes, and a lot more water. These levels I think are actually the hardest levels in the whole game, with a lot of death traps and pixel perfect movements. This becomes just so incredibly annoying, but the pixel perfect movements become more apparent in the sequel, You Have 10 Seconds 2. The final level introduces being able to switch gravity, which is quite interesting and allows for some very interesting puzzles, but then again, I also had the feature in a game I made at school, so it's not that impressive. Anyway, the final levels basically shove everything at you, with the final level being a level that gives you 50 seconds to complete, which I guess defeats the point of the, the title of the game being you have 10 seconds because you really have 50 seconds. Like, seriously game, be consistent. Oh my god, look, what the hell? This level is really challenging, considering my multiverse friends sucked at it. No, 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 no. I just failed at the easiest jump in the whole game. Yeah, he's dumb. Anyway, after completing this level, nothing happens. You just go back to the title screen. That's it. That's the whole game. Did you expect more? Well, I think I finally found the shelf again, but Avatar is missing. Oh well, guess we're going there. Come with me. Oh, for God's sake. 